started out with my trunk looking like this. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. This means one thing, planting season has started. Got all the plant babies home. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun shopping. We have so many good things here. Um, and I just gave everything a good water just to make sure nothing dried out. I also am trying to water everything in the evening too and to make sure all my seedlings are coming up. I'm still like waiting for the cosmos and the basil in this container. And I'm like, I'm getting slightly worried that things are drying out too much. One good way to test is you know, just to dig down a little bit and make sure your soil looks, oh yeah, it's so dry under there. Okay, I'm gonna come back and water that one again. Try to really make sure that the actual soil in the container um, is getting saturated. But now I just need to take care of all of these plants until I can get them potted and planted and so forth. Um, so I will have them on my weekly fertilizer schedule. These are most, almost all of these are just real heavy feeding for, uh, annual annuals you know like these beautiful calabracoas so they're gonna want that good weekly dose of fertilizer just like everything else so we're just gonna put it on that schedule and oh my gosh already not even in the containers it's like a whole new life in the garden just having these plants here it makes it feel like summer i feel like it's summer in the garden can't wait to share with you the different recipes that i come up with with all these plants all right, cheers. Welcome to the garden. So this week has been the week of new flowers. I've got all the new little baby plants that I picked up um, from the garden center. I've just basically been trying to keep them all um, happy and, and healthy. So I've been doing um, a lot of just watering. Yesterday I came out and fertilized all of them, uh, but they're looking beautiful. I can't, that's always a trick when you don't plant things right away is to make sure everything survives, but they're doing beautifully. Look at this. I mean, <gasps> And I've kind of been like placing out maybe where I want to plant some of them, uh, figuring out how everything is going to go. Of course, we've got this bed that I just planted up and that is looking good. The plants look so much happier now that they're um, out of the pots. And then the rest of the garden is progressing too. So we've got the beans really coming up over here. These are the beans and the zinnias. I think they, they're growing pretty well. Looks like they're kind of matching. You know, the zinnias are gonna start taking off here in a minute. My petunias are staying pretty small, but they're still, they're still kind of sweet in their own little way. And then actually, so this plant pot, um, I kind of cleared out the lettuce. I was thinking about maybe doing, I don't know, something else with this container, but then I noticed that these dahlias have started to take off. I wasn't, I, I thought maybe they, they weren't gonna grow, but look, this one is putting off growth. So I have to decide if I wanna keep it in the pot or I might plant it out in somewhere else. Um, we'll kind of see. This bed where I planted all those flower seeds, I'm, I'm not seeing a whole ton of things coming up. I know that that's a bachelor buttons and we've got some of the dill, but maybe this will be a place for the, the uh, dahlias. It's always hard to not to get impatient with like the little seedlings, but I don't, you know, it's been getting really dry out here in these beds. So I don't know if maybe, um, yeah, just like maybe some of those seeds didn't germinate, but I could put the dahlias in that bed and they'd probably do really, really well. Um, and they're gonna be big, tall yellow dahlias. So they'd be really pretty. That might actually be a good spot for them. So. We'll see about how that goes, but look at this bed. Look at how full everything is getting. The tomato finally reached the top and everything else is looking really beautiful. I might need to come out here and harvest some of these green onions. We've got another Cosmo starting to bloom. Yeah, I mean, the millet is kind of not doing anything, but I think the millet is a little bit slower. I'm not gonna worry about that yet. I think it's just a little bit slower and then it'll start to take off as we get um, further along here in the season. Okay, so it's afternoon and um, I'm hiding in the garden shop because it's so windy here in the afternoons. Moving to a new space, you get to know the local weather and it is nice and still and quiet in the mornings, um, but it gets kind of windy. The wind picks up in the afternoon 
which makes it hard for my sound filming. So um, usually I film in the evening, <laughs> like sitting on a watering can. In my last garden, I would always come out and film in the evening. Um, and now I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna have to switch around some stuff. But anyways, I did come out here because it is kind of windy. And one of the things I wanna do I planted up that um, kitchen garden bed and then I just left everything a mess, which tends to happen. But I do want to tidy it up and I don't want the plant tags and everything to blow away. I do want to make sure that I, I label it. Usually I don't leave plant tags um, like in the garden beds, but I think I'm just going to stick them next to the plants because honestly I want to be able to talk to you all about um, all the plants and I feel like you know, as much as I think I'm gonna remember everything, I'm gonna forget stuff. So I'm gonna do a little tidying up. Not much has changed up here, obviously, since this morning when I uh, talked to you, but um, it's just a beautiful evening and it's just a little something that, you know, I needed to get done. around has made me realize that they they really dried out over the day um, especially like one of the little uh, sunflowers that I got so I'm gonna go ahead and give those just like a little dose of water um, I started kind of grouping together to some of the plants like into the, the plant uh, pots that I want to have look at these okay look at these cosmos so pretty but can you even oh my gosh the blooms on this sort of over to the middle of the bed and playing that around with the layout of the different containers along these 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 raised beds like I can't just can't quite figure out where I want everything but I need to plant up this container I need to plant up that one and then I need to kind of figure out where they're all gonna go I ended up moving this um, tromboncino container over here because I wanted it to get a little bit more sun where I had it. It wasn't getting as much morning sun, but by pulling it out here, now it gets like probably the most full sun that, um, that the plants can get uh, So in the garden. So this, I think, hopefully it'll look good. It looks a little like just, I don't know, dry to me, but yeah, the soil is not, I mean, it's not dry I guess I could give a little dose of water with the um with the other plants but I'm gonna have to really really stay on top of the water in this garden because I think it's just so hot out here having some green in the garden and like well more green I guess in these raised beds and everything is just oh my gosh it's making me so happy I haven't even planted all these yet but this is a container I'll show you more of the details on this next week this is basically just what I'm doing today. Standing out in the garden, staring at the plants for long periods of time, just trying to decide what I want to plant everywhere, which plants I want to put with what. It's kind of part of the process. Now everything's blowing away. <laughs> another beautiful day out here and look what I saw last night I wanted to come out and check on them <gasps> look how nice these tomatoes are looking so we've definitely been getting a lot of wind so hopefully everything is getting um, pollinated but we've got some nice decent like little cherry tomatoes growing on this this was a container tomato plant I believe it was the variety it was a little Napoli and little Roma tomatoes. Well, I do have Roma tomatoes in my garden. I was thinking I didn't have any Roma tomatoes, although these look pretty small. That's like almost like, I would, you know, that's like a little saladette size. Very nice. It's kind of a spindly looking tomato plant, but honestly it's covered in bloom. So I'm expecting to get a lot of, you know, a lot of these nice little tomatoes off of it. 
the petunias are really staying small, this little variety of pink petunias, but they are just blooming and blooming and blooming and blooming and blooming. And I started laying out some of my other plants over here. I did some container arranging yesterday and like setting up a new layout for some of these containers, just trying to make sure I like line up all the sight lines that we've got out here in the garden. See how my other tomatoes are doing. If we've got any other little tomatoes in here. This is the tumbler tomato. So this one is not going to be, um, this is a determinant style as well. I probably should have just put this in a container, but it's just gonna kind of ramble through this bed. But no tomatoes on that yet. over in here. So I was a little worried about kind of like the leaf curl and stuff that we've got going on on these tomatoes, but they're still. I don't know, they're still growing up. And now that this one is starting to get up above the edge of the raised bed um, edge, it's it's starting to look a little healthier. I have to say, I wish I had filled these up I more. I did not fill up the containers all the way because since we're only here for a year, I didn't want to spend the money on all the potting soil. But honestly, I, uh, I kind of regret it. I filled the other two up all the way because I just realized, you know what? The half filled raised beds, it's, it's not ideal. I mean, it's gonna be fine for the year and the plants look okay, but uh, in hindsight, I'm like, oh, I should have filled them up. But I'm encouraged to see now that the tomato is reaching to look so good. And the um, the patty pan squash is actually looking really healthy in here. This is probably my healthiest looking squash. It's looking great. So uh, that's encouraging. That's really nice. Well, to see. It was a little bit of a hodgepodge week, kind of a kind of a funny week out here in the garden, um, but starting to have more blooms out here. So, so a good week in the end. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.